I don't know why anyone ever doubts me on anything. Because at this time last <laughs> week on the press box, I sat here and told the Jets, this was a terrible idea, putting all your eggs in the Aaron Rodgers basket. And as we tape this, he has yet to sign. Maybe he signed as you're watching this right now. But whether or not he did, it's still a terrible idea. And the proof is in what happened in the last seven days. Aaron Rodgers waits at least till three days after free agency to hold both the Packers and the Jets hostage after having a meeting with all the brass there. And in the meantime, he gives the Jets a wish list of players he wants to play with, now, including former teammates in Green Bay, and Odell Beckham Jr. What do the Jets do? Instead of telling a guy who is on another roster at the moment, we'll figure out what we're going to do, they go out and give him exactly what he wants, minus Odell Beckham Jr. The New York Jets brass, this young, brash head coach who doesn't take any BS from anybody, is letting a player on another NFL roster be his GM and make his calls. And oh, by the way, the amount of former teammates that they are signing for Aaron Rodgers kind of neutralizes the young offense offensive weapons that the Jets had that they wanted to use with Rodgers at quarterback. What are you doing? Look, I hate the Jets. I hate the Jets. But you're embarrassing yourself and you're doing it. Putting all of the eggs in a basket of a 39-year-old quarterback who's on the decline. He'd be the third best quarterback in your division. What are you doing? <laughs>